in this in this video we're going to explore how you can use in JavaScript the for loop flag and the for loop flag is basically a for loop which keep on looping until it flags the resi desired result for example you're looking for a value imagine you're going to a clothes store and you want to look for the size of a t-shirt let's say large and they will check that as well so basically what we're going to do is once you find it you will not keep on looping through the entire stack of clothes it doesn't make sense and this is same with a flag basically with four loops it will keep on going until it runs through the entire t-shirt stack which doesn't make sense because the moment you find your right size you stop searching and with a flag you can stop javascript from keeping on with the loop or reiterate the loop for no reason because this is wasting useful resources and slows down your site on the user computer. So let's start and explore that. But before that, if you want to learn about Chart.js, check out my Udemy course in the description box. You can find the link, click on it, and you'll see my Chart.js course. All right, let's start and explore this because this, the for loop, is very, very useful for not only a beginner but also for the advanced. Uh, JavaScript program. Let's start and explore here. So first what we're going to do is we're going to create an array and in this array we have multiple sizes. So let's assume we have our sizes of t-shirts. So we're going to create an array and in this array we have a small, oh make sure these are strings of course, small. I'll just make it to keep it shorter, just small, medium, large, and extra extra large all right so we have four items here so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a for loop and this for loop is basically a standard for loop as we always do which we first indicate the value statement number one equals zero so i is equal zero and then we have the next one here what's the next item is the condition so in our case we're going to use here an array uh, we're going to use the array value because we want to count how many elements we have. For that, we can do size dot length, and I already discussed about this. Basically, this is the one we're going to use. So we're going to copy this, put it here, but then we're going to make the condition. So if i is smaller, that's then the array of sizes dot length keep on reiterating, or reiterating basically means repeating the same item multiple times or a number of times and how many times well depending on how long or how many elements are in our array right now we have one two three four elements in our array then next what we have is so we're going to do that then we say here i plus plus so it's an incremental every single time all right so in here it will loop so let's start and make the console let's so we can see here console.log then we just loop, we can loop in here the i, or we can even loop here in the sizes if we want this, we can just show the sizes in here. So let's save this, refresh here and open up our developer tab. Now you can see we are showing every single value here, we have four items here. And we are missing the extra large and this is on purpose, all right? So now, what are we going to do here is basically we're going to create an if statement. So I said if, and what is the if statement based on? The if statement will say if, what are we looking for? Let's say we're looking for the size m. If, well, what we can do here, we say sizes equals m, medium size. At that moment, we will start to show or show the value here that's the moment we want to show it so if i'm going to save this and refresh you'll see now it starts to loop through the console this is correct however if we will look at it it will loop through all of them so let's say we have another m here at the end save this you can see now it shows two values here and the reason why is it sees this one and it keeps on going here. However, imagine this is a stack of t-shirts. Once you find your size, whatever your size is, 
you will not search for another one of the same t-shirt that does not make sense so what we want to do now is we want to stop this so basically we what we're going to do is we create a flag and a flag is basically just a variable so we can say a variable and any variable we can put in here and i'll just give it the variable flag and then here we say no so basically there is nothing here and then in here what we say is if this is true we are going to give a new variable or we will assign flag with a new value which is yes and then what we do it here we will say yes or we will echo out or in the console log we will show the message whatever flag variable has and that should be a yes only because the no will not be shown here so let's save this once we do this you can see now it keeps on going it shows two time yes to make sure that we see it very clearly we can put in here the the, the value or the i number so let's put in here i then i say here plus this refresh you can see the first one or the first value here which is the second in the element the second element is yes and the last the fifth element which is number four in the array because this is number zero the fifth by the fourth oh yeah the fifth element of the array is also showing however you can see it keeps on going imagine you have a lot of lines here but you don't need to know all this because what you want to do is the moment you have this one you want to stop it so how do we do this well what we can do here is the moment we've got this we do here a break command so once we flag it we've got the value we break it and then we stop let's save this now you can see we only have one yes we only show in the second element which is number one in the array if we would have even more let's put in here a lot more you will see now everything if you do everything m it will only show one as well or zero in this case there you are so this is basically how you can use a flag and this is how you save precious resources from your website this speeds up your javascript because you are forcing javascript to stop the moment you've got it break stop and do whatever it needs to do so this makes sure that you don't keep on looping and this will be very very wasting of resources especially if you have a long array think about charts you have a long array or you have a specific item with too many uh, values in here all right so if you like these kind of videos subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding to this topic put them in the comment section below